Hey guys, it's Eric from Dini the Garage here. Do you guys remember the other day at the yard, I picked up a climate control module for my 2003 Buick Park app. The screen here wasn't working, and um, I bought one from Vinton Marcy's You Pull It Up in New York, and that one works like 80% of the time. It's better than what I had. It's not perfect. So I decided to take it apart, and the old one that was in the car, to see what was going on. So first I took off, sorry, first I took off two um, five millimeter screws here and here, and then it came apart into two pieces. I unplugged this board from this board over here, and then just kind of inspected this for all the weld joints, uh, solder joints. And all these looked good on this side of the, the, the uh, control, which I was kind of shocked because that's the actual where the screen sits. Then I unbolted this one with another set of five, I think, millimeter screws, just to check the connections on this side. And everything still looked good. So with that, I, I was kind of stumped. I was like, where else could this be wrong? And I didn't think about the secondary board that's in here. So there's an extra piece because it is in my car today. So I was like, all right, let's get this out. And to get that out, you pull these two clips back slowly and you kind of shimmy it out. Now, one thing if you guys can notice really quickly is that these five, four resistors have different coloring. I was like, wow, they must have got really hot. And I think you just saw what my thumb did. They move. I'm bring that closer. A lot of them have wiggle. So, I decided to reflow them because if you look on the back side, all the joints aren't shiny like this. So, I mean, I don't have a lot of experience soldering. I'm going to do a test and see if I can do this. I think I can. So, what I did was I went on Amazon. I'll link the one I got in, in, on Amazon. Got myself a soldering kit because I don't know where any of my old soldering stuff is and anything like that. Now, there's a couple of things in here that this comes with that we would need to do this project. So, let's open it up and show me what I got. Alright. So, all over the place. Uh, oh, there's one thing up oh, there. It is. Okay, so I got my solder, soldering iron over here, and this actually came with a nice little holder kit for a sponge, so that you can keep your tip cool and clean. This is one thing that we needed because we're going to take that solder off the board, and it's actually what you call a solder plunger or solder plunger remover. So you click this down and you press this button. And that air suction will actually, once you heat the tip up to that, suck the solder off these little guys. So that's very important for what we're doing today. Um, so I'm going to be using that to get the solder out. And I gotta get my solder iron out. Literally just open this. And this cost me just about $17, $18 for everything we needed. And it, had, it came with solder, which I think would be enough for my little project today. Right here. It's rosin solder. It's specifically for electronics. Um, so I'm hoping that will be enough. It came with all the tips we would need. It comes with pretty much everything I think we would need for this little project. And if I fix this, I would save myself about $130 because the other unit was I got from the yard was $60, but um, I had to buy I mean $30, $31 at Marcy's U Pole. But with that, I still got all the spares that I can do this while I'm sitting here. So let's just get all this set up. Now, one thing I learned with soldering is that you want to have the cord kind of where you get some slack so you don't get pulled by it. I'm going to get my under. I'm going to see if I can do this. So I don't see 
it get in the hot. Oh, <laughs> I'm a dummy, guys. One thing I forgot with this thing is I have an adjuster on it. So right now, it was set to the lowest. Let's bring that thing up. I'm gonna set it to 400. I forgot I got an adjustable guy. That was a good one. I got some stuff up on that one. Hopefully I can catch up for you guys. Do this guy. Heating up the resistor tip. You know, that would not work. And again, I'm gonna clean my tip in a second. Alright, I'm gonna try re-flowing that joint. You guys can just walk and do the rest. Holder. See what I can do here. Let's see. Oh wow! I'm actually doing it. <laughs> Guys, it's my first time reflowing a board. Wow. Kind of impressed with it. Let's go for this guy. Come on. That's the problem. I'm a left handed. Ooh, I burned the hole. Ooh. That's a good one. I'm happy with that. All right, now I think the solder iron's up to temperature, so we're gonna try to plunge a couple more of these guys. Oh, that's good. It's like clean. I'll hold this up. So you see what it did there? You should not burn nothing. Got a hole now. See, those are the new ones I soldered in. So we're just gonna work around to the rest of them. You can watch now as you do it. Kind of shocked, guys, right now. Shocked I'm actually be able to do this. Put this baby back in its holder. Let's test this. Okay. Well, that one's okay. So, if you look, all of them pretty solid connections now. You know, I said I was gonna come back and do these last two here. I'm gonna do them now. I'm not too bad at it. Hopefully, these things hold. I think they will. So. Heat her up. See all the joints got resoldered. Nice and solid now. I think that just might work. Let me turn my soldering off so not burn myself, and we'll put this back together.
brighten these up just a little more and then go check it in the car and see if it works and I'll show you guys if it does. Um, just real quick, I wanted to show you how to do this. Um, well, tell you, not show you. You can maybe watch me on a fast forward. Um, you pop this one off, you pop this one off, you pop this off. All that comes out. There's two seven millimeters down here. And just to show you what I'm talking about, the screen, I bet it's gonna work now. This one works only 80% of the time. Now you see, nothing's lighting up. Now if I do that a couple times, well, you see how it's coming to life. I flicked it a couple times and it's coming to life. So, hopefully that gets all fixed now. All right. I'm ripping this part. clip on the ground I'm gonna try to show you actually you can just use your fingernails that's a little bit of pain to get out you pull it on either side of the tab and it comes out and then you just be able to unplug this thing oh, almost also there's another bottom clip here which you just kind of pull up also helps it's hot today there you go that's the one I just pulled from Vince's that doesn't really work. Here's the new one. Oh, didn't mean to hit you guys there. Put this baby back in. And before we even put that blue clip on, I just want to see if it comes on. Oh, look at that. So bright. I am so proud of myself right now. Hot diggity dog. You guys know what to do. Leave a comment, hit the like button, hit the bell, hit subscribe to us. Catch you all later. This is Eric from Dean in the Garage signing out. I'm just going to finish this up here.